to the shaving video. Um, I do like to keep my shape that I've got going on. So I'm going to show you how to pull your hair across to keep that straight line and pull it up. Um, and just show you how to shape, I suppose, clean up your neck. And yeah, yes, I know who will help out. Um, I prefer to do it at home. And I definitely use a five blade razor blade, like this big one. It just gives me a bit of shave. I don't use three or four. I would, well, I can't find four most of the time. Um, oh, I've also got this trimmer. If you need to straighten up the edges here, but if you leave the side bends, obviously come down to here. All right, so first up is we'll grab the trimmer while we're dry and we'll just get this shape back a bit neater. So I'll use my trimmer. So I'll pull my hairs up, turn it on. And then that leaves those whiskers nice and long. And then you just want to pull these to the side. And I'm only doing this because I left it a little bit long. I probably should have shaved a couple of days ago, but I didn't think it would stand out as much in the video. So I did wait, but I probably shouldn't have. Now this side. And pull these whiskers up. And just run around the whole thing if you want to. I'll just clean up the bits. Just make sure everything's down. Or you can use a fine tooth comb. Just brush it all up out of the way, but I don't think it holds it as good as your fingers. But yeah. Or brush it down if you need to. You should always brush your beard, just like your hair. Probably should give it a brush every day. There we go. Now I'm just going to straighten this side up. And draw those top loose hairs. And more of a straight shape. Alright, so now we're going to move over to the basin and get the water and I'll move on from there. Um, I like to get my tap hot, nice and warm water, give this a bit of a 30 seconds under there, 20 seconds under there, just to warm the blades up, um, splash some warm water over my face. Okay, so our face is all wet now. Um, we're just gonna sit the razor blade under there for 20 seconds to warm up. Sit that to the side, grab your shaving cream, grab your shaving foam. Uh, are you sensitive? Getting old. And then just roughly cover where we're gonna be shaving it. Can't cover your whole face at once, or you can cover half your face. It's up to you. What you like to do, make sure you get that one in there. Go on. first and always go up because it seems to give a bit of shave. Should we get up one day and see why. Then sit it back full I suppose. And I'm gonna pull it up and then I'll just give it a tap tap. And do the process all over again. And because I have left mine pretty Long one, it is the one shave. So I don't have a brand new shave there.
Now it's not a very sharp cover or anything. I can hardly feel anything. I'm pushing as if I'd be holding an apple, I suppose, pressing on an apple skin. Make sure the other fingers don't get in mind, just like mine did. <laughs> I nice think my one of these cut our neck on camera. Now normally I just stay in line with my ears here to shave. Get rid of all that. Just come along here straight to be made up with the beard. Shaving cream back up this side, line it up with my finger. As you can see, I need a new razor blade. your razor blade a tap ever so slightly so now you've got a rough shape and we just want to know where that beard's going to end because we don't want it way out here so hold it up and cut down at an angle I'll take you a few goes to get it Slowly make now. When you think you're roughly done, just give it a quick once over with some water. Let's give it a dry off. And there we go. Now, if that's not neat enough for you, Get 
yourself head lice brush and that gets every single hair gives them a nice finish gets all those real whiskers where they need to be now if you want to you can use a bit of gel or a bit of product just to hold those whiskers in place until they get longer so I just do not want to twist But now I'm going to have a shower to get rid of all this hair on my neck from shaving my head from the previous video. If you didn't see it, go check it out. And thanks for watching. Hopefully, this has helped you shave and you're feeling much better for yourself and everyone around you. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe if it helps you out and you get something out of this video. I've got heaps more helpful content down below.